Hi, welcome to this vulnerability brief for regression. Uh, a vulnerability against OpenSSH. It's a vulnerability that was released last Monday on July 1st. Um, it's a security regression of a vulnerability from 2006 that was recently discovered on OpenSSH, specifically OpenSSH running on glibc-based Linux systems. There's still ongoing research on other systems it could impact. It's best to take whatever the latest patches are and apply them to OpenSSH to make sure you'll decrease your risk of being exploited. Additionally, um, there is a long list of versions that are impacted going back to anything before uh, versions 4.4, um, unless they are patched for the vulnerability that, that came out in 2006, as well as one uh, in 2008 as well as more recent versions of OpenSSH ranging from versions 8.5 to 9.8. What's happening is there's a race condition that happens when a unauthenticated remote actor uh, might be able to trigger uh, it by failing to authenticate within a, a set time period. What does this mean? Uh, it means that there's millions of devices running vulnerable versions of OpenSSH, including medical devices. Um, anything that's shipped on a uh, Linux-based system uh, that use libc uh, to build OpenSSH is vulnerable to this. Additionally, this has a high severity score of 8.1 and two CWs assigned to it, including one that is on the CW top 25. Additionally, there's already been reports as early as July 3rd of uh, exploits in the wild um, against this vulnerability. And if you look today, there's exploit code available on a lot of different sources as well as on GitHub. Um, additionally, it already has an EPSS score of 12%. What that means is that there's the probability of this vulnerability being exploited in the wild in the next 30 days is 12%. For a vulnerability that just came out, that's relatively high. And kind of looking into the understanding the more technical aspects of this and how realistic is it to exploit this vulnerability, um, there's been some research that is the exploit possible? Yes. Um, but currently, it would take around 10,000 authentication attempts. Um, and if using standard OpenSSH settings, it would take about six to eight hours to actually exploit this vulnerability. So it could be time consuming, uh, but it is still realistic, especially for devices that might not be, uh, that might be running locally on, in an, a healthcare environment um, where someone might have the time to actually do that. Um, you could have controls in place in terms of DDoS protections that wouldn't allow someone to make 10,000 authentication attempts um, and, and keep trying to authenticate for 68 hours. Um, but it's best to really upgrade to the latest version of OpenSSH that has patches against this vulnerability. Regression isn't the only vulnerability against OpenSSH. Um, today, on July 9th, uh, CB2024-6409 uh, was published. Um, it's a vulnerability against the same versions of OpenSSH as regression and it has a severity score of 7.0. Currently, it's known to have less impact. It currently only impacts um, Red Hat Linux uh, and Fedora um, and um, is, is assigned one CWE. Um, details are still kind of coming out of, about this vulnerability, but um, the combination of these vulnerabilities, it's best to upgrade and patch your sy uh, systems running open at stage as soon as possible to just decrease the potential risk these vulnerabilities bring. Uh, to close out this really quick vulnerability brief, here are the references um, for some of the material I presented today, uh, including the sources of the vulnerabilities, the initial publications, uh, NBD pages, as well as where some publicly known exploits have already been published or, or reports written about it. Um, we hope that this was super useful. Um, keep, look, keep, keep an eye out for more vulnerability briefs in the future and any updates for this specific OpenSSH vulnerability. Thank you.